The University of Pisa, Italian, Università di Pisa, Unipi, is an Italian public research university located in Pisa, Italy. It was founded in 1343 by an edict of Pope Clement VI. It is the 19th oldest extant university in the world and the 10th oldest in Italy. The university is ranked within the top 10 nationally and the top 400 in the world according to the ARWU and the QS. It houses the Orto Botanico di Pisa, Europe's oldest academic botanical garden, which was founded in 1544. The University of Pisa is part of the Pisa University System, which includes the Scuola Normal Superiore and the Santana School of Advanced Studies. The university has about 50,000 students, of which 46,000 are undergraduate and postgraduate studies, and 3,500 are doctoral and specialization studies. In the fields of philology and cultural studies, the University of Pisa is a leading member of ICON, an inter-university consortium of 21 Italian universities supported by the Ministry of Education, Universities and Research, as well as a member of the European University Association, the partnership of a European group of aeronautics and space universities network and the Sinica Consortium. It's the only university in Italy which has become a member of the university's research association. Among its notable graduates, there are several national and foreign political leaders, including two Italian presidents, five popes, five Italian prime ministers, and three Nobel laureates as students, faculty, or staff affiliates. Pisa has an intense athletic rivalry with the University of Pavia, which traditionally culminates in the Pisa-Pavia regatta, regatta Pisa -Pavia, the oldest competition of this kind in Italy, and second in Europe only to the Oxford-Cambridge boat race. In 2013, the University of Pisa finished with La Sapienza University of Rome in first place among the Italian universities, according to the academic ranking of world universities. History The University of Pisa was officially established on September 3, 1343. However, a number of scholars claim its origin dates back to the 11th century. The first reliable data on the presence of secular and monastic schools of law in Pisa is from the 11th century and the second half of the 12th century, a time when Pisa had already achieved a remarkable economic development. The following century formed the first documents to prove the presence of doctors of medicine and surgery. The earliest evidence of a Pisan studium dates to 1338, when jurist Ranieri Arsendi transferred to Pisa from Bologna. He, along with Bartolo da Sassiferato, a lecturer in civil law, were paid by the municipality to teach public lessons. The papal bull in Supremi Dignitatis, granted by Pope Clement VI on September 3, 1343, recognized the Studium of Pisa as a Studium Generale, an institution of further education founded or confirmed by a universal authority, the papacy, or empire. Pisa was one of the first European universities to boast this papal attestation, which guaranteed the universal and legal value of its educational qualifications. The first taught subjects were theology, civil law, canon law and medicine. In 1355, Francesco da Buti, the well-known commentator of Dante's Divine Comedy, began teaching at the studium. Pisa and its studium underwent a period of crisis around the turn of the 15th century. The Florentines' conquest of the town led to the university's closure in 1403. In 1473, thanks to Lorenzo de' Medici, the Pisan Studium resumed its systematic development, and the construction of a building for holding lessons was provided for in 1486. The building later known as Palazzo della Sapienza, the building of knowledge was located in the 14th century Piazza del Grano. The image of a cherub was placed above the Gate dell'Abbondanza, the Gate of Abundance, leading to the piazza, and today is still the symbol of the university. Following the rebellion and the war against Florence in 1494, the Pisan Studium suffered a period of decline and was transferred to Pistoia, Prato and Florence. The ceremonial reopening of the university on November 1, 1543, under the rule of Duke Cosimo I de' Medici, was considered as a second inauguration. The quality of the university was furthered by the Statute of 1545 and the Pisan Athenaeum became one of the most significant in Europe for teaching and research. The chair of Semplici botany was held by Luca Ghini, founder of the world's first botanical gardens. 
He was succeeded by Andrea Cecilpino, who pioneered the first scientific methodology for the classification of plants, and is considered a forerunner in the discovery of blood circulation. Gabriele Fallopio and Marcello Malpighi lectured in anatomy and medicine. Galileo Galilei, who was born and studied in Pisa, became professor of mathematics at the Pisan Studium in 1589. The university's role as a state institution became more accentuated during the Medici Grand Duchy period. A protectionist policy ensured a consistent nucleus of scholars and teachers. Laws issued by Cosimo I, Ferdinando I and Ferdinando II obliged those who intended to obtain a degree to attend the Studium of Pisa. Many notable figures lectured at Pisa, especially in the fields of law and medicine. The university's development continued under the Lorenas. They completed the construction of the Astronomic Observatory, a project initiated by the Medicis, and enriched the university library with important publications. They helped develop the Botanical Gardens, and Natural Science Museum, and established new chairs including experimental physics and chemistry. The annexation of Tuscany to the Napoleonic Empire resulted in the transformation of the studium into an imperial academy. The Athenaeum became a branch of the University of Paris, and the courses and study programs were structured following the French public education model. Five new faculties were established, theology, law, medicine, science and literature, along with examinations, different qualification titles and graduation theses. In 1810 the Scuola Normal was established, after the École Normal of Paris. The Restoration wasn't able to cancel the effects of the Napoleonic experience. The first Congress of Italian Scientists was held in Pisa in 1839. Over 300 experts of various disciplines and 421 scientists discussed zoology, comparative anatomy, chemistry, physics, mathematics, agronomy, technology, botany, vegetation physiology, geology, mineralogy, geography and medicine. In 1839–1840, the director of education Gaetano Giorgini brought about the most important reform in the University of Pisa by raising the number of faculties to six theology, law, literature, medicine, mathematics, and natural sciences. Giorgini also created the world's first chair of agriculture and sheep farming. In 1846, the Scuola Normal reopened. At the same time, liberal and patriotic ideals were spreading at Athenaeum and a battalion of the university composed of lecturers and students distinguished itself in the Battle of Curtitone and Montanara in 1848. During the Second Restoration in 1851, Leopoldo II united the universities of Pisa and Siena in a unique Etruscan Athenaeum, motivated in part by economic reasons, but primarily for political control. The faculties of theology and law rested at Siena, while those of literature, medicine, mathematics and natural sciences remained at Pisa. Following the Florentine insurrection and the fleeing of the Grand Duke in 1859, one of the initial measures imposed by the provisory government was the restitution to the city of Pisa of its studium with all six of its faculties. With the birth of the Kingdom of Italy, the University of Pisa became one of the new state's most prestigious cultural institutions. The first European Institute of Historical Linguistics was founded in Pisa in 1890. Between the second half of the 19th century and first half of the 20th century, lecturers who taught at Pisa included the lawyers Francesco Carrara and Francesco Buonamici, philologists Domenico Comparetti and Giovanni Dancona, historians Pasquale Villari, Gioacchino Volpe and Luigi Russo, philosopher Giovanni Gentile, economist Giuseppe Toniola and mathematicians Ulisse Dini and Antonio Piscinati. During the years of fascism, the Pisa Athenaeum was an active center for political debate and anti-fascist organization. After the Second World War, the University of Pisa returned to the avant-garde style of learning in many fields of knowledge. To the faculties of engineering and pharmacy, established pre-war, were added economics, foreign languages and literature and politics. In 1967 the Scuola Superiore di Studi Universitari e Perfezionamento S. Anna was founded which, together with La Scuola Normal, formed a learning and teaching center. Today, the University of Pisa has 20 departments, with high-level research centers in the sectors of agriculture, astrophysics, computer science, engineering, mathematics, medicine and veterinary medicine. 
The university has close relations with the Pisan Institutes of the National Research Council, with many cultural institutions of national and international importance, and with industry, especially that of information technology, which experienced a phase of rapid expansion in Pisa during the 1960s and 1970s. Organization and administration The University of Pisa consists of 20 departments. These departments offer several courses in their related field of study. Civil and Industrial Engineering Energy, Systems, Territory and Construction Engineering Information Engineering Mathematics Physics Computer Science Chemistry and Industrial Chemistry Biology Earth Sciences Clinical and Experimental Medicine Surgical, Medical and Molecular Pathology and Critical Care Medicine Translational Research on New Technologies in Medicine and Surgery Pharmacy Humanities Civilizations and Forms of Knowledge Philology, Literature and Linguistics Law Political Science Agricultural, Environmental and Food Sciences Veterinary Sciences PhD studies are usually offered and arranged by the departments. The lectures are mostly given in Italian, except for a number of courses at the Faculty of Foreign Languages and Literature. Some scientific programs, such as the International MSc in Aerospace Engineering UMAS, Master in Business Informatics, the Master of Science in Space Engineering and the Master in Computer Science and Networking, jointly offered with Scuola Superiore Santana. Students also have at their disposal a language center, where they can attend courses in foreign languages, a sports center that arranges for many sports intramural leagues and allows sports practice in almost all the disciplines available in Italy, and three university refectories The University of Pisa is not organized in the form of one unique campus, but rather its many buildings are scattered throughout the whole Pisa area, especially in the city center. Topic rankings In 2011, the University of Pisa came in first place among the Italian universities, according to the academic ranking of world universities and within the best 30 universities in Europe. Times Higher Education World University Rankings rank University of Pisa among the 300 best world universities. QS World University Rankings has rankings on Natural Sciences 115, Arts and Humanities 148, Engineering and IT 168, Life Sciences 298. The U.S. News & World Report places the University of Pisa among the world's 300 best universities. The European Research Ranking, a ranking based on publicly available data from the European Commission database, puts the University of Pisa among the best in Italy and the best performing European research institutions. Notable people Alumni <inaudible> 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 Notable people who have attended the University of Pisa include In politics and government Italian political leaders Giacomo Acerbo Giuliano Amato Sandro Bondi Maria Chiara Carosa Carlo Azzelio Ciampi Massimo De Lima Giovanni Granchi Guido Bufferini Ghidi Enrico Letta Antonio Meccanico Fabio Mussi Alessandro Nada Marcelo Pera Enrico Rossi Carlos Sforza Sidney Sunino Paolo Emilio Taviani Foreign political leaders Deputy Prime Minister of Albania Spiro Kaleka Ambassador Marcelo Spatafora Prime Ministers of Greece Ioannis Kaledis and Diomidis Kyriakos Haitian President René Préval Nicaraguan President Adan Cardenas Prime Minister of Somalia Ali Mohamed Gedin Theology Archbishop Giovanni Battista Rinuccini Cardinals Benedetto Accolti the Younger Pietro Accolti Francesco Barberini Cesare Borgia Giovanni Antonio Godogni 
Francisco de Ramalans Francesco Martelli Bendino Panciatici Rafael Riario Giovanni Battista Tolome Popes Clement IX Clement XII Leo X Paul III Urban VIII Chief Rabbi Elio Tof Minister Angus Morrison in Science Astrophysicists Paolo Farinella and Franco Pacini Biophysicist Clara Franzini Armstrong Botanist Giovanni Arcangeli Geneticist Guido Pontecorvo 1907 Mathematicians Aldo Andriotti Enrico Betti Vincenzo Brunacci Cesare Barali 40 Bonaventura Cavallari Guglielmo Libri Carucci dalla Samaha Giovanni Ceva Luigi Fantappi Guido Fubini Christopher Haken Giuseppe Loricella Salvatore Pincherol Ferdinando Pio Rossellini Giovanni Salvmini Carlo Somigliana Vito Volterra Guido Zappa Neuroscientist Emilio Bazzi Physicians Vincenzo Cerugi Paolo Maccarini Francesco Redi Physicists Adolfo Bartoli Tomistocal Calzicchi Onesti Ennio Candotti Nello Carrara Enrico Fermi 1901 winner of the 1938 Nobel Prize in Physics Galileo Galilei Luca Gamaitoni Antonio Piscinati Eligio Peruca Luigi Puccianti Franco Rossetti Vasco Ranchi Carlo Rubbia 1934, co-winner of the 1984 Nobel Prize in Physics in Other Fields Egyptologists Edda Bresciani, Gianluca Minacci and Ippolito Rossellini Fashion model Tanya Bambasi Film directors Mari. O. Monicelli, Paolo Virzi and Simone Rapisarda Casanova Historians Carlo Ginzburg, Camillo Porzio, and Mario Rosa Librettist Giacinto Andrea Sacognini Philologist Gian Biagio Conte Philosophers Francesco Catani da Diacetto Aldo Gargani Giovanni Gentile Anna Camaiti Hostert Euphrosin Pateca Gunu Physiologist Hugo Kronecker (1839–1914). Tenors Andrea Bocelli and Francesco Rossino. Notable people who have attended the University of Pisa include agronomist Nazarino Strampelli, anatomist Addo Tigri, art historian and curator Carolyn Christoph Bicargiev, civil engineer Henry Willy Revelli, civil servant Bruno Ferranti, computer scientists. Elisa Bertino, Luca Cardelli, Roberto Di Cosmo, Luca Pisani, Diplomat Carlo Andrea Pozzo di Borgo, Economists Luigi Bodio and Paolo Milanima, Engineer Giacinto Morera, Intellectual Adriano Safri, International Civil Servant Francesco Cap, Journalists Lando Ferretti and Tiziano Terzani, Jurists Giuseppe Averani, Piero Calamandre, Francesco Carrara, Antonio Cassese, Italian Constitutional Court Judge Sabino Cassese, Giovanni Lamy, Remus Oprianu, Linguists Stefano Arduini and Luigi Rizzi, Nobel laureate in literature Giosu Carducci, Managers Pier Francesco Guarguaglini, Luca Desiata. Naturalist Gaetano Savi Physician François Carlo Antomarchi Poets Vincenzo da Filicaia Giovanni Battista Garini Mauro Nervi Psychiatrist Silvano Arietti Racing car and engine designer Carlo Chitti Surgeon Andrea Vacca Berlinghieri Writers Pietro Saitesi Francesco Domenico Garazzi Margaret King Antonio Tabucci 
Zoologist Enrico Hillier Gilioli. Topic: Faculty and Staff. Prominent scholars who have taught at the University of Pisa include In Science Anatomists Lorenzo Bellini and Marcello Malpighi Chemist Robert Schiff Computer scientist Egan Borger Engineer Corradino Descanio Mathematicians Eugenio Beltrami Enrico Bombieri Giovanni Alfonso Borelli Sergio Campanato Benedetto Castelli Corrado de Concini Ennio de Giorgi Luigi Guido Grandi Alessandro Marchetti Claudio Processi Leonida Tonelli Pathologist Angelo Mafucci Physicians Pietro Gracco and Paolo Mascagni Physicists Bernard H. Lavenda Carlo Matucci Roy McWini Giulio Racca Gian Carlo Wick Zoologist Enrica Calabrese in other fields, economist Giuseppe Toniola Egalitarian Philippe Buonarroti, 18th century utopian socialist, revolutionary, journalist, writer, agitator, and Freemason, mainly active in France historians Joja Piriavec, Slovene historian from Italy, one of the most prominent diplomatic historians of the West Balkans region, and member of the Slovenian Academy of Sciences and Arts Pasquale Villar journalist Luciano Bianciardi, translator and writer of short stories and novels jurists Francesco Accarigi Carlo Costamagna Bartolus de Saxoferrato Baldus de Ubaldis linguist Mauro Cristofani, researcher in Etruscan studies philosophers Armando Carlini Arnold Davidson Dominic of Flanders Lorenzo Magalotti, author, diplomat and poet Hugo Spirito poets Italian Jewish poet and patriot David Levi Valerio Magrelli Giovanni Pascoli 16th century scholar Girolamo Maggi writer Bernard Comment. Topic in popular culture. The University of Pisa is mentioned in the film Don Juan, 1926. Topic. See also. Scuola Normale Superiore di Pisa. Santana School of Advanced Studies Pisa Charterhouse Natural History Museum Pisa University System École Normale Super Superior Graduate Schools in Italy List of Italian Universities List of Medieval Universities Pisa Icon Interuniversity Consortium for Italian Studies